Yeah, share the screen. <clears throat> share the screen. <clears throat> Want to quickly. Monica, uh, the code is working from your side. Yes, sir. Permits working. And from Jod. So actually, I'm lagging by one class. But I have done all the code. But there was only some code left. That's all the videos, are videos they uploaded or not? Videos they uploaded or not? Sir, no, sir. It was up to uh, 17. Lecture number 17. No issue. I told yesterday. I told to some sir, but why we not? We not upload it. Sir, I'll cover it uh, that class one sir. But okay, okay. okay, okay, no issue. So where you got the issue? Yes, I was creating the product. Saying something went wrong in the creating the product. Okay, go to the views code and scroll above. Show me the uh, code above here. This code above. Show me the states. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. You see in no no. Score below. Score below. Score below. Once more. Yeah. In line number forty-seven, you write the spelling or category of collector or not? Yeah, you write it. So this code above. Okay, now go to the inspect. Go to the inspect. <clears throat> and call. go to the console as well. And the border is deprecated. It's called blue, it's called blue, it's called blue. Yeah, blue, blue. Wait, wait. Fail to response 8000. We create product. Click on, uh, no, no, Paul. Click on uh, the, uh, yeah. Click on the warning in the create product. Yeah, yeah, here, here, in the blue line, blue section, blue section. Click on, yeah, click on it. And show, go to the error, go to the error. Above, above, you saw the new page is opening. Above. No power in the new, here. Yeah. Cannot okay. get product, create product, okay. One is no issue. So, yeah. So, tomorrow the code is not working because we made a mistake over here, like right? Because in place of parentheses, we have uh, we I wrote the curly braces, and now if you change the curly braces to parentheses, then it start working. Okay, so you see our create product page is working fine. And now we will, uh, now after creation of product, we need to see the all product as well. So now here we create the one more code page for the products. So where we can, we will sh uh, show our all the products which uh, we have created previously. Okay, so now 
go to the <coughs> admin section and create one more js file to show the product close the backend side pages in admin and here we need to create one more js file that is products.js okay and yeah CPU and that the deal with the layout. Okay. And <coughs> and in layout and the layout create the one more class with tip with class name code and one more call MD3. And here we will call our admin menu okay and below this we will show our all product list so call d9 in here we get the one more h1 and class name is text enter and call products list okay and after that <coughs> we need to create the route for product in a purchase as well so below the create product copy this store and paste it below and Okay, and here, all the products are here. Save it, and after that, we go to the <coughs> go to the admin menu after that. Yeah, here, and we need to create the one more. Nav link for it. It will see and paste it over here and name it product. Okay. And here, plus box less. What is the route name? Yep, yeah, products. Let me check it in my account here. Your products. Save it and let's check it in our page. Yeah, product is coming over here and all product list is also coming over here. Sir, okay. what, uh, hmm? what updates have we done, sir? Sorry? Your network is down now. What are you saying? Oh. What updates have you done, sir? You told you don't network issue or my system logged off. I am just creating the like first uh, previously I have created the uh, route for the create product. And once uh, we have created the product, then after that we need to show the all the product. So that's why after that I have created the product page for to create the all the product over here. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, once again, go to the code, sir. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm not completed yet. Uh, I will tell you. Wait a minute. Okay. So, hmm. after that, yeah. <clears throat> Layout and that is low. Here we have created the product.js page. Okay, Pawan. And after that, uh, I have import that products in the app.js with that path name admins. 
slash product okay and after that uh, i have wrapped it in a admin menu as well with creation of new nav link okay so okay guys so everyone please you need to do this okay i will be back around five minutes okay okay guys hello okay man. So, have we created? Hello? No, I have So, So guys, load is fast. Yes, I got. It's created now. Monica. One minute, sir. Guys, taking so much time. <clears throat> so I must go to product today, sir. Okay. So let's go to Abdul Jis. Yes, sir. So I think I need to come out and start the memory part. Shall we move forward? Hello? Yes. Yes. Monica, Pawan. Yes, sir. I'm saying this. I'm not audible. Yeah, you're not audible. This time you are audible. Okay, sir. Can you go to admin dashboard of this? Admin dashboard? Admin menu, admin menu. So you need to create the one more nav link, just same like the above. Okay, Pawan.
तो नौ तो वी नीड टू ओवन आई एम गोइंग फॉरवर्ड ओके प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सब प्रोडक्ट्स ओके आफ्टर दैट we will just state initially uh, previously uh, yesterday uh, we are we have uh, get the category with the help of categories and set category category state and where we can write the input array and now here we also write the input array okay because our all the top products is in the form of array that's why and after that we need to create the one more Because if you see in the backend side and go to the routes and go to the products route, this is the route. With the help of this route, we will uh, get our all the products which are project present in in the backend side, right? So we need to get the we need to uh, write the function according to this route. So yeah, the so fall category it is. Get all category and for product it is get all products. Okay. And also I read the comment over here like get all product. Okay. Get the same. Jump and try and catch. Okay. And see Okay. And after that, we will follow our form with the help of FTS, right? So, forms data equal to a way if geos dot get. Because we are getting all the product already, so that's why we are. And also, you can check the product the request is get right. So, and after that, and what is the default part for all in server digest for product? That is, yeah, slash product. Okay, so slash product and slash. And what is the route? Hmm? What is the route for it? That product now, hello? I saw. So, okay. And after that, we will get the data from the backend and set it in our user state. Like, Data dot products and let me check it in the controller side with products or product. <clears throat> it is products, okay. So, yeah, products. Okay. And after that, we will create the use effect to call our function. Use effect. Yeah. And where we call over function with the of error function. Okay, like that all products. Okay. And also we make the dependency was very, very also. So yeah. And,
and go to the Boots tab and copy the card from there. Boots tab. Yeah. And copy yeah, this card is fine. And come over here. And in here. First we need to write the condition for products. Like if we got get the products and dot map. Okay. And map there is product. Right. Hello. Are you guys listening or not? Yes, sir. Yes, I'm listening. And here we need to yeah, write equal more curly bases. And in that curly bases, we need to copy paste paste that code. And now here we need to change the this code to our convert to HTML to JSX. Yeah. And let's click on this. We have changed successfully. Yeah. <clears throat> And after that, is the key to this like product ID. Okay. And after that, here is at the place of source, we will import our photo like we dot photo. Let me take it it's important or not. And alternate it is p dot name. The photo is not important over here. P dot name. Okay. And uh, so after that, yeah. The place of card title. We will write p dot name. Okay. And here we are the respective description like p dot yes description okay and we do not require the exit tag or here save this yeah and go to the yeah we are saying like all the products are coming over here right hello yes sir so like iPhone Pro Max, iPhone earbuds, shoes, product, toy product. And but photo is not coming over here. In the place of photo, the name is coming over. So we will resolve it. So quickly do this in your code. And after that, tell me. We I will do it further. Okay. Just do it in around five, uh, two or three minutes. It will not take much more than two or three minutes. So do this. Okay. And also make the display flex. Yeah, let's see. Let's come in the same way. Yeah, do this. <clears throat> yeah.
कंप्लीटेड वर्किंग Pavan, so I will see your uh, issue after the class, okay? Okay. okay. So. <clears throat> So we don't want to show the all product list and all the product in the same line. So that's why uh, I will wrap the whole product in the new div. Okay, so this div, save this and remove this flex from here. Here, you are seeing every product is coming in the same line and product list is at the top of the product, okay? So after that, in card section, we give the margin of two from the every side. So yeah, it's looking good. So yeah. <clears throat> yeah, let me check it. Yeah, let me check it. Yeah. So go to the top and And also we want to like, if we click on the uh, uh, this product, then the single product details are also showing where once we click on this product, then we do, then we want to show the single product details. And also if we want to update it, then we will update it as well. And if we want to delete it, then we will update it too. So now we will create that functionality over here. So quickly in the map section, click the one more link over here. Because with the help of link, we can do this type of functionality, right? So, and so yeah, slash dashboard. We will get the new path for it. So dashboard slash admin and slash product, product and slash and we will see the single product detail with the above id or slug hello um both we can try sir but we are using slug here oh, okay fine so if you see the in product this slug is also coming uh, project over there then we will write the slug over here okay and after that we will close this link yeah and copy this whole code from here and move to this link side and now let me check like the link is not including yeah we need to put the link as well so yeah save this and go to the page when we click on the product and you see the you will see here the slug is coming in the param side right right yes, or so we can get the backend data with the help of this use params now. So here is the advantage of uh, using the slug. Like if we uh, paste the slug or see a slug or then we can uh, check the backend data as well with the help of this. And also you can do the same process with the help of ID as well. Okay, it's up to you. But slug is make the uh, process very smoothly. So, okay. Sir, also if we use ID, then the like the web crawlers will find it difficult to search our product. Sorry. Sir, also is there any advantage of our of slug that it helps us to uh, get a better SEO? Because if we get an ID in our parents, then then the browser would find it difficult to. No, no. If you are passing the ID, then you need sometimes like if you take an example of category. In uh, during category, we need to pass the whole ID, na? and after that, after the population, we get the details. Now, mm -hmm. 
So, and sometimes we need to require the di direct details. So with that perhaps like we can get the all, all the product details, all the categories details. So sometimes ID uh, is not working fine in the place of slug. So that's why slug is come, uh, slug will come into the picture in the place of ID. Like if you refresh the page, the ID have ID have ID will go on away. Yes. But slug is not slug will not move from their place after refreshing the page. Once you refresh the page, you see slug will not go away, right? But ID, sometimes ID will uh, go away. That's why. After refreshing the page. Okay. Okay. And also, uh, when you will familiar with the ID and slug, then you will also uh, see the difference between this. That uh, where we use the ID, where we use the slug. No, but here you want to uh, use the ID, then you can use it. But uh, uh, the select functionality is the new functionality. That's why I'm I'm telling you like how we, we use this uh, we use the select uh, where what is the functionality of select okay and also you see with the of select if you creating the iPhone Pro Max product right so, so it creates the string according to it like a different string and in place of space it write the dash as well right and in ID you see in ID there is a different string like. Uh, uh, random random yeah. string, right? Yes, sir. I was asking that, uh, like, yeah. if we use slug, then then it will help us in SEO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it will help us in SEO. Okay. Yeah. Search engine optimization. No, you want to say? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you will help. So, okay. And also pass this key ID to our key as well. Like this is a parent for all, right? Okay. And also do the conditional running or error as well. Like you write the question mark in everywhere. Okay, guys. Well, let me check if it's working or not. Yeah, it's working. If you click on Pro Max here, if we so the iPhone Pro Max, if you click on iPhone, the iPhone slug is coming over here. If you click on AirPods, the AirPods is coming over here, right? It's working. So, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, hello. Hello, hello. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, for me, the products are not coming. Uh, like, uh, it's showing for the product. Your voice is not uh, audible to me. So when I will see your issue after the class, okay? Just wait and watch. Okay. So, here you see, if we... The underline is coming uh, in the link side, right? So we don't want to, we, so we uh, want to remove it. So how we remove it? So we will, I have, I will, I am giving the class name of here, product link and go to the index.css. I will start it. So here, here the product plus link, okay. And where the text decoration is done. Okay. And color is white. Yeah, save it. And yeah, it's working. Yeah, it's working now. Right? You see, the underline is have gone away, and also the text is what is it? Color is what is it? So after that, we need to make this style like the one to make this style as important, and this style as well, like important too.
because this class will apply and after that there are many more. So now go back to JS. Yeah. And after that, we want to fetch the photo over there. So can you tell me how we will uh, grab the photo with the other packet? We have write the one more route. Yes, sir. Get photo. Better photo. Hmm? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, that uh, that controller, uh, we have to pass the ID product ID. Uh, if you go to the route, parent. product route, and you see, if you get the product with the app ID, here we have the product photo and ID or it, right? So we can write that path in the place of source as well, now. Yes. We can directly uh, fetch the data from the backend over here. So yeah, like product, okay, and product photo, okay. That is the product photo. And after that, the remaining part is ID, na? So how we yes. get the ID? Like the we want to ID. Yeah, because we uh, read the map over and in every product, the ID is present over there. So when we click on this product, then ID is uh, also inside that product now. So that's why we will get the ID from that product too, like P dot ID, this part, right? So, dollar, paste it, save it. And if you go to the front end, and we refresh it. Okay. Let me check it. In my stock plus in product. Product photo PID. Okay. Hmm. We are going to describe the width of this tile that is 18 rem and also after this image I will describe the path for this like product and product photo and dollar and alternate name is yeah, product link here yeah. okay. The photo is not coming away. It's So guys, you can do the, the menu part of it uh, in your code and I will check it where I'm doing the mistake, okay? And you are doing, okay? Like you create the class name over it with uh, product link. And after that, style it, this part, okay? Yes, are you doing or not? Hello? Yes, sir. Doing, sir. Okay, good. <clears throat>
And the other person, that I would see them from here. There is also a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit Operator guys. Yes, no. Okay, good. So I think MSI is very long. That's why it's not coming over there. So then uh, from your side, the MS is coming or not? Hmm? Hello? Hello? Sir, I didn't get you. Can you say again? From your side, image coming in your front end or not? No, sir. Not coming. Check it. And at the route, same product now that's product photo. I have a product PID, right.
So till now, uh, we have prepared the uh, topic till now. Hello? Hello guys, you have completed the part? Yes. The product yes, part? Sir. Now. So, yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Third body. Report me in the list of the dot ID. I think the photo size is very long. That's why it's not coming over there, right? So, yeah. So we will move forward and let's see, like, okay. When we click on the product side, then the new form is coming over here. So we will work on it. And after that, we will see where we are, we are, we were doing the mistake, okay? So, okay. Let me check one second like products dot map that is P UK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything is fine. The image size is very long, so that's why it's not coming. So yeah. <clears throat> so now quickly we create the one more page over here that is update product you know update product dot js Okay, and after that, we will copy the whole code from the create product over here. Copy this and paste it in a create product and change the name with a create product. Update. Do it also. Create. Okay. And and also go to the tab dot JS and make the route for it as well. Like first we need to import the update for that for it. Great product and go to the product dot JS. What is the Call for it admin slash product. Like this one. And then go to the upper JS. Paste it over here. And we need to write the slug over here. Okay. Now, when we go to the page, then we click on this. The form is coming over here, right? So, in our upcoming class, we will create on the upgrade product side. Okay, guys. So, you can quickly do this change in your code. And, uh, and also, uh, yeah, first you need to uh, do this, and after that, I will tell you what I'm going to say. Okay, do this quickly. Hello? Yes, yes sir. Uh, can I do in the previous code? Then let me copy that code up to the beginning.
Check it. Check it. Check it. Where you see the code is not coming. Yeah. I was correct. The length of the photo was uh, large. That's why the photo is not coming over here. Right? The length of the photo was long. That's why. Hmm. Code is correct. Okay. So if we use the small photo size length, so the photo will appear over here. Okay, guys. Okay, hello. Thank you. So, you will see the same thing. 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 Okay. Sir, share the update product. Now, yeah, update product, I have copy paste the create product and just change the name from here. Update product. I have copy paste the create product code over here and paste it in here. Okay. And also, uh, let me check the my previous code back and side like what, it, what I maintain the photos size in the product controller like, like this one create photo yeah. and single photo a the background side for the controller. Take this and Okay, it's loading. That's why it's not coming. Okay, so in our uh, uh, next class, I will uh, copy the small size images over here. Okay, so I hope you are complete the part in. Morning, the part till now. And from uh, Monica, from your side, the photo is not also visible now. Hello. Hello, Monica. No, sir. No, sir. It's not visible. No, mm, that's it. The photo length is uh, long. That's it. Okay. So, yeah, let me stop this share. Yeah, I'm still recording.